Hey, hey Mr. Bohr, what, what does the atomic, atomic model look like? <laughs> well, you see, the Bohr model depicts an atom as a small, positively charged nucleus surrounded by electrons. They travel in circular orbits around the nucleus, similar in structure to the solar system, but with electrostatic forces providing attraction rather than gravity. The model depicts a hydrogen atom where the negatively charged electrons are confined to an atomic shell that encircles a small positively charged atomic nucleus, and where an electron jumps between its orbit and is accompanied by an admitted or absorbed amount of electromagnetic energy. That cool, cool transition. transition! Cool transition. Transitioning. Hey, what about me? I have two. Steven, oh, hey, what's come that down, my yeah. don't you? What about my mortal, Mr. Uh, uh, my mortal helped a lot too. Oh, please, enlighten us, Mr. Rutherford. In my model, I contained the new features of a relatively high central charge, concentrated in a very small volume in comparison to the rest of the atom. This central volume also contains the bulk of the atomic mass of the atom. This region would later be known as the nucleus. Oh, Mr. Rutherford, why don't we go out to dinner or something and discuss our models in more depth? Oh, I would love to. That sounds rather lavish. Oh, this place looks rather lavish, don't you think? Oh, I could care. <laughs> oh my god, they're like sitting like right across from us. Well, let's get to it. In my model, I confirm the existence of the protons. However, the electrons in my model may move freely. Ah, I made fascinating restrictions to the movement of the electrons by imposing pictures of the electrons in an orbit around the nucleus. Ah, oh my, my. This has been a fun evening. I'm going to go home and sit on the sofa and watch TV. Well, ta-ta for now. Oh, why that guy's gone? He sucks.